Hey dear, how are you doing today? It's a good day. It's a good day. Um, today I just want to share two things. Because it's a, it's a season where, you know, the COVID has come back. And, uh, you know, around me there's a lot of people who have um, gone through loss. In losing um, loved ones. In just a week, there are like four different cases, you know. And the, the, the heaviest one, the heaviest blow um, that I felt was a friend of mine who lost her baby yesterday. And till now, I'm still digesting that. It's really, it's really heavy. And so as, you know, we are processing losing loved ones and, you know, being in that angst position. I wanted to share these uh, thoughts um, because... You know, I felt like it's important that, um, you know, I usually share a lot of upbeat, uplifting things. And I hope this would be uplifting um, as but going through the process. All right. So I want to share two to three <laughs> thoughts about it. And um, the first one is, you know, don't try to accelerate that season it's a season it's a process um and don't stifle your emotions it's wonderful to see that jesus cried and so it's okay to cry don't speed up your crying it's a season where and that's what's beautiful about jesus christ is what the bible says hebrews 4 verse 15 is that we have a high priest a lord who is not unfamiliar with our human emotions jesus went through anxiety he went through depression he went through grief he went through sadness he went through you know loss and that's what's amazing with this god is that he knows the diversity of our human emotions and so it's okay when you're grieving to feel those emotions jesus went through that and he knows and he sympathizes with you through it all he wept for his friend lazarus although he knew he was so don't speed up don't speed up the grieving process don't speed it up you know and don't think god is not with you he is with you he understands your emotions. He understands the all the questions. He understands the pain. He understands. He understands. Second advice, number two. When you feel overwhelmed, you know, there are songs, there are things that you know you you allow your heart to cry it out to god okay there's a song that keeps coming to my mind since morning and i'll share it with you alone. and the song says you know um for whoever is going through a, such a season maybe it's not just mourning maybe you're not grieving maybe you're just in anxiety and you feel like you're losing yourself um it's called defender and it goes like this, it says, When I thought I lost me, you knew where I left me. You reintroduced me to my, to your heart. You introduced me to your heart. You picked up all my pieces, put me back together. You reintroduced me to your love hallelujah hallelujah you have saved me so much better this way hallelujah great defender so much better this way 
Yeah, and hallelujah. It says you are the defender of my heart. Jesus is the defender of our heart. Even in the midst of anxiety, of pain, of grieving, Jesus remains the defender of our hearts. And so it goes one step at a time, one day after the other. He is the And finally, my last point is, I just want to share this piece of hope. Uh, we know that we are, you know, at the beginning of the end times or in the middle, I don't know, but at least we are inside the end times and Jesus is coming back. He's returning and he will return for a glorious bride to get his people. And the amazing thing is that what is coming in the future age, in age to come, will be more glorious, more joyful, more appeasing, more peaceful, more enjoy and enjoying, I don't know what joyful, yeah, more satisfying that, than whatever situation we've ever lived on earth. That means whatever joy you had, having children, having a husband, having a joy, and so I want us to project ourselves in the age to come. You know, there's a more glorious reality that Jesus is going to bring when he comes back, right? It's so much better. And sometimes I stop, you know, even beyond grieving moments, I just stop and I think, you know, the greatest joy I have had on earth whether it's joy in impacting others or seeing my babies, my children, or, you know, being in love with my husband or having a wonderful job or, you know, all these joys, it pills. It's like this in comparison with the joy to come when Jesus returns. And so I want to read um, Revelations chapter 21, verses 4, the message version. It says this. I heard a voice thunder from the throne. Look, look, God has moved into the neighborhood. He has come here, right? Making his home with men and women. They are his people. He is their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death is gone for good. Tears gone. Crying gone. Pain gone. All the first orders of things gone. That age is gone. The enthrone continued. Look, I'm making everything new. Write it all down. Each word is dependable and accurate. Revelation chapter 21 verses 4. There are better times. We will meet again with our loved ones. The Lord will redeem this, the pain we have now, acknowledge it, the grieving we have now, acknowledge it, it is real. And also acknowledge the hope that is to come, meeting our loved ones again, living in a time and in an age where there'll be no death, there'll be no grieving, there'll be no pain, we will be united physically with the beloved of our heart, with the defender of our heart, in a glorious, amazing, marvelous, wonderful times. And I hope that's something you look forward to. Heaven on earth, a new heaven and a new earth. <laughs>